All right, let me turn this down. But y'all, I'm burning. Wait a minute. Let me try to do this intro real fast so I can start driving because it's hot, okay? This wig is not doing me any justice. All right. I had to just turn down my air conditioner because I just wanted to do my little intro real fast. Because, you know, I, I can drive and record, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to be trying a few of my subscribers' favorite drinks from Starbucks. Their go-to orders or whatever. So what I did was um, put on my Instagram, let me know your go-to order when you order from Starbucks. Quite a few of you guys were kind enough to send it in, but I only picked about five or six of them because I don't want to just be sipping on Starbucks drinks. I'm not really a Starbucks drinker. I don't really drink coffee like that. Um, but... I'm gonna just try some of these. Um, normally, when I do go to Starbucks, I do just get the matcha frap with caramel. That's my like go-to if I ever go to Starbucks. Oh my gosh, it's 98 degrees in Vegas. So I'm gonna just let y'all know this summer we're dying out here, okay? I'm gonna just read off the orders right now to you guys so I won't have to do it when I'm there set up. It's just, it's just too hot, too hot for all this. So let me just go to the first one. The first one we have a Java chip um, frap Add two pumps of caramel syrup, extra java chips with caramel drizzle. Drizzle? Drizzle. So that's what I'm going to do. And also, I don't know the, the right terms for Starbucks, like tall, venti, grande. I don't know which one is which. So I'm going to just get these all in small. I'm going to look up how do you say small so I can feel like I'm a, I'm like a basic bitch at Starbucks. <laughs> the second one is a mango dragon fruit with coconut milk and matcha green tea. I've seen a lot of people telling me to get the mango dragon fruit lemonade or refresher whatever i guess that's new for starbucks i don't know don't quote me um but i picked this one because i love matcha okay i just love matcha and i feel like that will be really good um the next one i have is a iced chai latte coconut milk one pump chai one pump sugar-free vanilla and one shot of blonde espresso I'm gonna feel like I'm so fancy ordering these like oh my god <laughs> next one we have is a horchata almond milk frap substitute for coconut milk instead with extra whipped cream um I actually tried the horchata frap I believe was I at Starbucks I probably was somewhere else I don't know the last one I'm going to be getting is a vanilla bean frap with java chips and chocolate drizzle I guess that equals a uh, cookies and cream so that's what I'm gonna get when I was little I used to order the vanilla bean frap I don't really like how it tastes anymore but we're just gonna get that let's head over to Starbucks yes bitch missing my Uggs but it's too hot for that <laughs> let's go uh, I'll see you guys when I get the drinks I might take this wig off while I'm driving <laughs> So like pretty much ordering the drinks wasn't as hard as I thought. I feel like most people's orders are probably way more dramatized than mine were. But um, they did have to change between three people talking to me. Um, and I guess the small is called a tall. And my order, oh my God, it's 100 degrees. My order came up to 27... 13 I think 27 30 27 13 one of them but I thought it was gonna be way more than that so yeah I'm waiting in line as you can see can y'all see y'all can't see but I'm at Starbucks waiting in line and um I'm very excited to try these oops focus 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 so I feel like my favorite is going to be um the mango dragon fruit with matcha just because I love Oh my god, I love matcha so much. So I feel like that might be my favorite one. And if it's not, if it's nasty, I'm going to cry. Okay, I'm really going to cry. Oh, I'm next. <laughs> okay, so I decided to come outside because it's just way too hot in the car. Like, way too hot. So, these are the drinks. I just have them in my freezer while I set up so they are kind of like misty. But these are the drinks. This is the one I was excited about, the mango dragon, the, the mango dragon fruit with coconut milk and matcha. Um, looks, looks, looks nasty. Was it a bad idea to film outside? Probably because we don't live that far from airport, so whatever. But the lighting is great. <laughs> the lady handed it to me. She was like. Is it good with the matcha? I was like, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with the vanilla bean frat with java chips and chocolate drizzle, which is basically equivalent to cookies and cream. So let's try this one. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my God, plastic straws. Y'all on that wave? I really like the fact that 
you know, don't use plastic straws. Maybe Starbucks should change, but whatever. It's kind of melted because it was just really hot and melted that fast in the car. I'm gonna give this to DJ because it literally just tastes like cookies and cream and I feel like he will really like this. It's not bad at all, it's literally cookies and cream. Okay, so this one is the Java Chip Frap, two pumps of caramel syrup, add guava chips, extra caramel drizzle. That's what this one is. Let's open this straw. I'm sorry if I don't like some of these drinks, you guys. I'm now looking at that dragon fruit. I'm really scared. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry if I don't like them. Oh! <laughs> no. This is just is too sweet. Ah! Ah! I'm it's like awkwardly addicting though, but it's too, it's way too sweet. Like, I don't really like coffee, but you know, I really taste the coffee in this. And the caramel, it's too sweet. That will really wake you all the way up, okay? Ugh, I need some water, hold on. <laughs> I'm back, I'm better, I'm hydrated. <laughs> Um, that one was just way too sweet. Way, way, way too sweet. That, that right there, that ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> That's like a whole monster inside of a drink, plus a Red Bull, and a five hour energy. Just in, just there. This is the horchata frat with coconut milk, extra whip. Would you like a whip bowl blended? Where's that from? Million dollar question. Should I mix? I'm gonna just mix. Mix all the flavors back up into each other. Hell no. That right there, negative. What does it taste like? If another plane decides to fly by on the only time that I want to make a video outside, I'm gonna have a problem. What does it taste like? I'm like... Okay, see, when I go up to where it's not like melted down here, when I drink from right here, it's a different taste, but I still don't like it. This tastes like an old lady's perfume. When they spray too much and just walk by and you like get it in your mouth, that's what this tastes like. And, mm -mm. Like how a retirement home smells. <laughs> that's what this, I'm not trying to be like mean or, that's what this tastes like, okay? Who said that? Let me look. Alana. I'm sorry, Alana, but I really did not like your drink choice. Maybe we should try something else together. DM me. Alana, come on. <laughs> okay, now moving on to the ice. I feel like I need some iced stuff in my life. Okay, this one is the iced chai tea latte, um, single one pump of chai, one pump sugar-free vanilla, coconut milk blended. Hi, T. Mmm. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, 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 oh. That smells really good. It smells good. Let's see if it tastes good. I'm like low-key still tasting Alana's drink, so. This ain't it. Chief! I'm sorry, no. I don't even know what that tastes I can't even tell you what it tastes like. It's low-key tastes like watered down. Maybe I should have got light ice because it literally tastes like watered down. Uh, no, I don't know. 
I can't even tell you like what it tastes like because I honestly don't know. What did it taste like? It just tastes like watered down coffee, black. It tastes like watered down black coffee that's been sitting in the coffee maker for about a week. That's what that tastes like. Now, this is the one I feel like I'm gonna like, but not gonna like, because look how it just like turned color. Like it's, it's freaking black purple, like what? Okay, this one is a mango dragon fruit, coconut milk and matcha. Should've got light ice in this too. Mm, that one tastes, smells like some really good bubble gum, like. Mm, it smells so good. If this was a lotion, I would wear it. Like, wow, that smells so good. I'm kind of nervous because when the girl handed me this, she seemed kind of nervous. She was very concerned for me, okay? So I'm kind of, I'm, let's just, let's, let's just try. It's weird because it tastes exactly how it smells. I don't know. I feel like I need to let this cool down for a while. Meaning just to like, it's really sweet. Hold on. Another airplane, where you at? This is just too sweet. But let me, let me. Shh, Mother Nature, I'm recording. I'm gonna try to hurry up. Now it's getting dark. Wow, do you hate me? This is so sweet, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, oh my god, hopefully I'm not allergic to like dragon fruit. I don't think I've ever had dragon fruit. I could drink this. <laughs> but you know what it kind of tastes like? You know the aftertaste of Hubba Bubba when it's been in your mouth for too long? And the flavor is gone, but you take it out and you can still like low-key taste the flavor a little bit? That's what this tastes like. It just smells so good. It tastes, it tastes like Hubba Bubba. But it is so good. Like it literally, like I can taste the matcha, the powderness of it. That's why it tastes like Hubba Bubba. Can you know how Hubba Bubba has a powder? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It tastes like the Hubba Bubba that's like this, okay? It tastes like this Hubba Bubba. But it's like, I don't, I don't, I can taste the mango. I can taste the matcha. I can taste the dragon fruit. I don't know what dragon fruit tastes like, so I guess that's what I'm tasting. It's just entirely too sweet. I feel like I need to just let this sit out for a little while. It's just, it's like addicting. Like, wow, I can't, I can't stop. Like, I literally cannot stop. It's almost gone. I don't know if it's half full or half empty. <laughs> the mango dragon fruit with matcha and coconut milk was like my favorite one. It wasn't that good, but it was the best. My least favorite would have to be this one. This iced chai latte, one pup chai, one pup sugar-free vanilla. Maybe I shouldn't have got sugar-free and coconut milk. Like, no, that, let me try it again. Hell no. <laughs> Gross. All right, you guys, that will conclude <laughs> conclude the video. I can, sis, how do you drink that? Anyways, that will conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Maybe I'll do a part two to this. So comment down below your go-to Starbucks order. This was kind of fun. I just almost threw up. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me hurry up. <laughs> Comment down below your go-to Starbucks. Oh, let me... I'm gonna do a part two of this, so comment down below your go-to Starbucks drinks order or whatever. It can be as complicated as you make it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, why? Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts that are down below. And on that note, I can't scream because I'm you see how quiet my neighborhood? Very Caucasian. All right, but I love you guys. Bye.